This week, the FDA approved a video game to treat ADHD in kids, but it may not be for everyone. Our tech reporter Jordan Hogan explains why Utah psychologist is concerned. All right, recruit, suit up. The idea of kids being prescribed a video game by their doctor sounds very cool, but the reality is it's only really any good if it actually works. The research is still pretty new, and I think I would be more than willing to go over some of that research with the parents, um, but I'm still not totally sure about recommending it at this point. Dr. Natalie Surgeon, a licensed psychologist at Primary Children's Center for Counseling, says there are a few things that need to be looked into further before she starts prescribing Endeavor RX to her patients. This video game in particular, some of the side effects that were found were frustration, dizziness, headaches, some moodiness related to it. Surgeon also wants parents to know this isn't a replacement for their kids' existing treatment either. This video game was actually designed to be used in conjunction with typical ADHD treatments, things that we've already been using for a long time. Parents should also know that the video game has only shown to treat some kids who have two of the three types of ADHD. This video game in particular was developed for the inattentive type and for the combined type, but it has not been shown to have any improvement on hyperactivity at all. If you do find that this video game is effective in treating your child with ADHD, it's important you stick to the guidelines set by your doctor and the game makers. This particular video game was developed to be used for about 30 minutes a day, five days a week for a four-week span of time. So it's a month-long treatment. Despite these concerns, Surgeon is hopeful about its potential. I think it's pretty cool that people are putting in the time and effort to find new treatments and new treatments that kids will want to engage with too. Jordan Hogan, Fox 13 News, Utah.